Hi there, my name is Stacy, and I am from Search's Repair Cafe. Today we're going to talk about how we can turn a t-shirt that you can't donate because it either has rips or stains and make it into a reusable t-shirt bag that you can use to go shopping or to just store things. So for this simple and easy upcycle, all you're gonna need is a t-shirt. So I like to have something that is stretchy, like a cotton t-shirt, and bigger the t-shirt, bigger the bag. You're gonna need a good pair of scissors that will cut through fabric, and a ruler just to help you measure. So to start off, you're gonna to wanna to cut the sleeves off on this side of the hem, so on the inside hem of the t-shirt. Try to line it up as much as you can so that you just have to do one cut. Try to make it as smooth of a cut as possible. That's where a nice pair of sharp scissors helps. Then you're gonna to wanna to cut the neck off. Now, because this neck has the front scoops lower than the back, what I would recommend is just folding it in half and lining it up. Just make your life a little bit easier. Line up your shoulders. And then you can go as big of a swoop as you want. The bigger swoop will mean that your handles will be a little bit more narrower. So about eight centimeters. I don't know if that's eight, three inches. So that'll give you a nice swoop edge. You can go deeper if you want or have it more like this. You might want to clean up the cuts. Mine aren't very perfect. So this is where you're going to need your ruler as well. So now we're just going to cut off the bottom hem of the t-shirt. So depending on how long you cut the fringe, um, it's all up to you. If you want a longer fringe, you can do a longer cut. Just remember the longer the fringe, the less space you'll have in your bag. But it's totally up to you. And you're gonna want first to cut the corner seam just to, so you can get a slit. And this one I am doing 13 centimeters, which looks to me about five to six inches. And then you're gonna wanna do possibly anywhere just under an inch wide strips. Don't worry too much if they're a little jagged like mine are. So now just to add a little bit more uh, ruffle to your fringe, all you do is with t-shirts, you can pull it and it curls the edges to make it a little bit more of a narrow uh, fringe. So you just pull each one. I would just put my hand on the base so you don't rip it off in case you pull too hard. So now all you're gonna do is just take your two strips that are front and back, the same ones that go together, and you're just gonna do a square knot or a double knot. So you just, I always do right over left and then left over right, but that's just, that's just me. And just pull it tight and you're gonna wanna do the whole t-shirt. It's not a perfect seal. You will have a little space, so I probably wouldn't put coins in it or small items, but for fruits and vegetables. If you go to the grocery store, it's a great little uh, bag for that or something at the market. It's a great project for kids as well because there's no sewing involved. 
and they can reuse their old t-shirts, their favorite t-shirts. Or if you don't have any t-shirts on hand that you want to get rid of, but you want to do this craft, you can go to the, your thrift warehouse to grab one. If you don't like the fringe, you can also do this inside out and have the fringe on the inside if you don't want the fringe hanging out of the bag. I just probably wouldn't cut it as long and then maybe trim it down once you've trimmed it, you've made your knots. But I think the fringe kind of adds a little pizzazz to your bag. And then there's the end of your bag for the fringe. And then the last step is just to do the same thing with the sleeves. Is just grab the sleeves and just pull it a bit so you don't have a little bit of a straight cut and then it kind of camouflages some of your raw edges. And then that's it, there's your bag. So now that you have a completed bag, if you wanted to go one step further and jazz it up even more, you can decorate your bag and there's so many different things you can do. You can either add some buttons or you can have the kids paint on it with some fabric paint. You can add ribbons, tassels, whatever you want. Or you can also do a really cool technique, which I've tried, and that is by using um, some bleach spray and all you do is you lay down um, any type of mask so I used on this one I just cut out some cardstock hearts and I laid it on my t-shirt um, you can also use anything that you have around the house you can use this is just some felt thing you can use um, I found this key you can use some wood shapes or you can even use uh, letter stickers and then write a word out um, just be mindful whatever you use because you're spraying the bleach on there it might destroy the whatever you're adding on to it so what I did is I put a piece of cardstock in or cardboard in between just to protect your backside of your t-shirt and do it in a well ventilated area because bleach is very strong and I just made a mixture in a spray bottle of half bleach half water and again in my garage the garage door open I just sprayed after I laid my stencil down I just sprayed it, the bleach on top let it sit let it dry wash it and then I would recommend it um, just to be careful because you're gonna have your tassel that's where that card Board works um, is to hand wash it just because the tassels might get uh, damaged in the washing machine or you could do this before you do your bag would probably be the best way to, for this technique and there you have it a really cool upcycled um, project that you can make out of an old t-shirt that has a stain or a rip and that can't be donated or you can get a t-shirt from any of the thrift store either in Halliburton or in Bancroft and you can make a really cool bag. So for more of our Repair Cafe videos, make sure to check out our social media platforms and the link below for our website. Thanks so much.